What is up, guys? It's Ghetto Gabe, so now we're finally gonna be opening. Wait, hold on one second. Okay, here we go. So, we're finally opening the classy Freddy Blassie figure, so. Um, I don't know if I cut this pre ahead of time. I didn't, okay. Because sometimes I thought I did, and I don't. I, I thought, but I didn't, I guess. So. Cut the tape. That almost got me. Watch out, guys. Tape. Sorry for the pause, and I keep thinking everyone's gonna come into my room, but you know, because that's what happened um, on one of my videos, so I had to pause it. So, I don't like people coming in and ruining my videos, so. I'm gonna cut this side too, why not? Doesn't really matter what side I open it on, but. Um, I busted out these, um, Paul Ellering legs. Uh, I got the Shawn Michaels to show you something. Um, <clears throat> very interesting. I guess it's because Freddy Blassie is so called a manager. Um, I guess Paul and Paul Ellering's a ma manager too, so I'm assuming that's why they used it, but I'll show you. So let me get the cane out real quick. Yeah. Okay. Well, they fully wrapped this damn thing. Pissing me off. So much. Cut it. There we go. Cane. And no, I'm not talking about the other cane. I'm talking about a cane, not a not cane. So that was probably a really cringy joke. That's um. Pop these arms out. I still have all these other arms in here. Um, unfortunately, all the arms I had in that one um, box, right? Like, like that huge box I showed y'all. It's gonna be a problem. Okay, so I'm currently cutting these hands out because it's a Shawn Michaels hand because the finger cut to the plastic or poked through the plastic or has like a little slit hole in the plastic. And it also has the wrist piece, which you jam into the wrist, right? So, it's hard to get out because both people, the, both ends have, like, a pointy piece. So, it's, it's like, stuck. I can't get it out, so I'm going to get that out and cut it out. The hand popped off and I fucking lost it. That's, it's going to take an hour for me to find it, so I'll be right back in an hour. I can't find it. I can't find it. It's gone. I'm fucking done. I, I, I'm angry right now. I lost the hand. If I don't find it, then I, I just won't have the other hand for him. This pissed me off so much that it had to happen. Or it didn't have to happen. It just wanted to fucking do this. You damn frickin' this damn pointer finger. This is what I'm talking about. Why, first of all, why give us another of the same damn hand? First of all. And you see, it, like, the plastic was, up, like, right here. And it was stuck in the plastic. This piece had a little slit hole in the plastic, so both pieces were stuck. So I can't just pop it out, because then it will snap both of the pieces off, right? I'm right, back. Cutting into that plastic all for nothing. Corso, kind of loose. Not liking that. Um. But I want to mention. Let's take his uh, um jacket off. Oh, he has something around his neck. Oh, he has like a little medal or something. To be honest, I could care fucking less, you know. I'm gonna hide this, but as you can see, the whole bottom piece, if you compare these, these are the exact same um, pants. It's like a build a figure, but it's not. 
And the reason that these pants kind of are bad is not only is the torso really twisty, very loose, the abdomen sticks out. It's bigger than the, um, the entire wrestler. Or the legs, I mean. Meaning that it's gonna, it sticks out, it, like, the under pieces of the plastic, it sticks out. And that kind of, that's kind of lame. At least round it off, right? At least round it off to make it look like part of his belly. And not just like a, a hang-off, like a hanger. Um, uh, <clears throat> I think they, uh, I don't know. Not much to say about this figure, but, um, it comes with a cane. I'm assuming that you can put with cane and use it as a weapon. You don't have to pick cane, but it's just, I think it's more funny if you have a cane holding a cane and whacking people over. <laughs> cane guy, oh! Yeah. Anyways. That's my, my only really thing I have to say about the figure is how the, um, it has the builder, builder, um, build a figure or build a superstar, um, legs or build a manager or whatever they call that. Um, I think it's called build a figure, but it's, no, I don't think it's called build a figure. I think it's called build a manager, build something. Maybe it's called build a figure, but it's not a figure, it's manager. It's not a figure because you're not going to wrestle with it. I mean, I guess some people might. Of course, this jacket doesn't want to go on correctly. Bro, why the frick is your arm not going in, bro? This is your jacket. This is designed for you. And now you want to do that? Get okay, close behind his back. Boom. So, I guess you just gotta, if you want to play with them, you gotta keep the jacket on, otherwise it's gonna look weird. Also very twisty. Uh, but yeah, this is, um, a pretty bad figure. Um, head sculpt's cool. I mean, the figure's nice, but the twistiness ruins it. How it sticks out is not much of a deal. But, like, if you want to display this and have it, like, on your shelf or something like that, if you're a collector... And not someone that wants to buy these to play with, you'll be like, you and you want to have the figures looking nice and not like out of place or weird. You guys might have a big issue with the uh, sticking out piece of his belly right there. Um, personally, it's whatever. If I ever use this figure, it's probably just gonna show up as a manager for um Roddy Piper. And Mr. T and stuff like that. But however, I might do a few matches with him, but nothing like this. Like by the way, he has a he has a much better bend down over than he does. Um, by the way, I do want to compare what a normal elite looks like instead of these types of legs. You got your classic double knee or ab crunch or bicep swivel. I don't even know if he has a bicep swivel. Hold on, let me see if he has a bicep swivel. He does. Uh -huh. And not your bicep swivel. Some figures can include double elbows, not these ones. Not Usually not your Mattel ones. Are. Yeah, usually not your Mattel elites are. Um, ultim usually Ultimate Edition or, Sto or Storm Collectible Hogan's um, have the double elbows and stuff. Maybe maybe a few uh, Mattel figures have the double elbows, but I'm not sure. Yeah, a twist on the um, thigh. Like I said, the only um, ankle rock, pivot, and a hinge. Also got a hinge for your um, your arms, your shoulders. Um, hinges for your um, wrist. You could twist the body. Which is really tight. You can see how tight that is. It's a little harder for me. Where I could just like. I could twist them around like that. And play around with them. Make them do the boogie boogie. 
I twist them around. This one, it's like it's tighter. It's harder for me to do it. I can I can't do it really fast because then it like you know what I mean. I know how to fix that on figures though. Um, but however, since um this is his thing six dot, I have no idea his thing. Oh my god, his um his chest piece, his abdomen piece sticks out. I'm not sure if that will work. But for those of y'all that don't know the secret strat on how to fix um, loose torsos on figures or loose ab crunches, you put on um, this ab crunch is not really loose. But um, you put a rubber band there, and the rubber band will tighten the movement so that you you it won't like it won't move like that, right? It could don't worry, it will stay in place. Um, but it might break. That's the thing. If it breaks, you just get a new one. And put it in there. But um, I don't know because of his abdomen if that will work or not. Because I think it just might rock out, and pop me in the eye. It just might snap, right? Because of how, because it does not. It's this. Um, these legs aren't aren't supposed to be with the figure like this, with the body like this. It's supposed to have have a custom made body like a Paul Ellering or some shit like that. At first, I think I thought this was like. Um, I don't know if this is uncommon. Or uh, if this can come off, or these legs are supposed to come off, or if they can come off, but I'm not gonna like just ply on the figure and try to take them off and and break the whole figure. I'm not gonna do that. Like just um, I'm gonna keep it the way it is. Um, I I I tug on it a little bit. It doesn't seem like it's gonna come off. So yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tug on it anymore. <clears throat> I do kind of like the articulation on these a little more, I guess you could say. Um, because I just think that the movement's a little cooler. I kind of wish it was other pieces here, though, like foam pieces. Like, this is hollowed. <sighs> I'm really tired, guys. I was gonna open the Ultimate Edition tonight or today, but no, I ain't doing that. But yeah, classy, pretty, blasty guys. Um, should you buy it? No, you shouldn't buy it if you're if you're planning to play with it. You might. You're definitely not gonna like the loose torso. It's gonna bother you because when you're gonna play, he's gonna be doing three sixties around his waist when you play with them. If you if you want some like a collector's item of of this uh a Freddy Blassie, then definitely. If you're a collector, I would suggest it because you're not gonna be moving it really. If you're if you're using it for posing though, um, I don't think it'll be that much of a problem with the loose torso. It's not like the Big Show. I should show you my Big Show figure. It'll, he like you you could like turn him a little bit and he'll drop the other way. Like you can see, I I, I twist him right. He's not dropping like boom like this right. But when I turn the big show, he'll go like this. I twist him down this way. He twists this way. Like that big show figure is all messed up. Real talk, but yeah. I'm gonna show y'all what it, um it looks like for him to get power bombed by. Bam. But yeah, if you're a collector and you're not really doing it for that many poses or anything. Then yeah, you should definitely get this to put on your shelf. If this is something that you kind of want to put on your shelf. Otherwise, not really. I wouldn't suggest this at all. So. I like the figure. It's cool. But. It's got some problems with it, so. You know? Hope soon to tell that they make better versions of these um figures in the future. Um some people might not like the um the idea of this. You know, some people might not like the um the manager or the build a figure uh Articulation on the on the pants. Some people might not like that. I don't, I don't mind it. 
I just kind of like the articulation on this is a little, a little more, not, not too much more, but I actually like it a little bit more than uh, the classic Mattel Elite. Just a little bit, not much. Um, I feel like let's see which one can go kick farther. Yeah, I definitely would go to the Mattel. Yeah. This this can go farther of the super kick as you can see. So yeah, not bad. You can also make him do this. Oh, make yourself throw up, throw up. I don't know. I'm tired as you can tell, so I'm just trying to make up random fucking funny shit. I guess you say. Oof! Poke in the eye. Oof! Poke in the ear. Poke. I don't know. But yeah, uh, if you want to collect, if you're a collector, yes. If you're pl playing with these figures, no. Because you're not, unless you're not going to be really fighting with them. If you want to play with them, as like him just walking someone to the ring, that's fine. It won't really bother you, I don't think. But if you're actually planning to play with them and have them fight against someone, the, the ab twist will get looser and looser. And then it will be eventually become like my big show where if you turn the rotation, it will just flip you out of the way. Like, you go like this way, right? And you just move, and it'll drop down, right? It'll eventually get to that, to being that loose. So, I wouldn't suggest it if you're playing like that. But if you're having him just, like, walk Goldberg or someone down to the ring, that's fine. As always, it's going to gave peace.